No, business is back to normal. Look at these crowds at 10 o'clock at night at Paris. Coming from the uh, parking garage. Totally different from the last time I was here. Last time I was here, these walkways were empty. I'm heading for the elevators. Now after my Mon Amour, whatever it is, Gabi, Mon Ami Gabi, my uh, escargot and assorted cheese, $60 and a $20 tip. What do I have for a snack in the evening? is good old CVS half my sandwich. So I go from, from 60 bucks <laughs> to this half sandwich. And I won't know the difference. I will enjoy it. After my beautiful CVS half a sandwich, I'm now going to smoke my Cohiba cigar. This is the first time I've been able to smoke a cigar in a Las Vegas hotel room. Wish me luck. Got it started. Cohiba. Enjoying it in a Las Vegas hotel room. Well, i got to remember this. Paris hotel allows smoking <clears throat> in designated rooms and this is one of the designated rooms I know that and plus they give me an ashtray so everything is fine and enjoyable I don't have to sit at a slot machine and smoke my cigar and worry about smoke blown in people's faces Tuesday morning, and I'm going to have coffee and the other half of my bear claw. But it's been in the refrigerator, and it's almost frozen. That's how cold that refrigerator is. So I'm putting it over the light bulb <laughs> to warm it up. Of course, i got to keep my eye on it. I don't want it to catch on fire. But I found a way to warm up my sandwiches, and these uh, breakfast things in the morning. Okay, I was worried about maybe <laughs> this bag catching on fire over the lamp. This is another way to heat up a cold bear claw. This is in a bag. There's no rips or tears in this. Put the hot water on and run it over. This should work good. As long as there's no tears in the bag. This is a smoking room. Last night I smoked my cigar in here. All the way down to a nub. And this morning, I can barely smell any smoke in the air. Excellent ventilation system. If I smoke a cigar at home, in the house, which I don't unless uh, there's some reason, weather-wise, maybe it's uh, too hot or too cold outside, I can smell it the next day, and it's strong. That's why I avoid smoking my cigar in the house. But here, ventilation is pretty good. I would say it got rid of 95% uh, 
of the smoke odor. I enjoy cigars, but I don't like to smell them the next day unless I'm smoking them. Looking out my window at the Paris Hotel, there's the rest of Paris right there. This is Bally's. And more Bally's over here, you can tell by the painting. Same thing, just blue and white. And then over there is the Cromwell. And what's next door to the Cromwell, I don't know. And then there's Harris. Anyways, on these hotels here, uh, Bally's, there's the rooms, there's no view. These, uh, these hotels are oblong and perpendicular to Las Vegas Boulevard. Look at all these rooms. You're going to get no view here. Absolutely no view over here on this section of Bally's. Over here on this hotel, no view. We're just looking at each other. I have to say, when I stayed at uh, New York, New York, I had a great view. And the Excalibur, which everybody hates as a flea bag trap, I've stayed there many times, great views over there at the Excalibur. But here, okay, nice rooms, but no view, just like me. I'm looking at other buildings, other hotels. And there's uh, the great Ferris wheel sticking up over there. And it's not running. So every time I look out this window, it's still in the same position. So don't think right now you're going over there and ride that thing. Here's a trick to keep your clothes fresh. Okay, I've got clothes in that drawer right there. I've got some shirts hanging up and tank tops in this wardrobe here. i got two of them. I'm not using this one. This was a safe in the refrigerator. <clears throat> Here's a trick to keep your, your clothes fresh. Just open that drawer slightly with your clothes in it so it can air out. Keep it closed and whatever odor, soap or whatever, it's going to build up in there. And the same thing with this uh, this wardrobe for shirts that I got the door just slightly cracked open. And the same thing with my suitcase over there. All night long, leave the, your suitcase open so it can air out. Now, you say, well, no, the maid's going to steal my stuff. What, are you going to steal your clothes? I don't think the maid's going to bother stealing your clothes unless it's super expensive. And if housekeeping comes in and closes all this, well, when you get back in the room, open it up and leave it open all night to air out. Paris. doesn't have any housekeeping. Next time I come to Las Vegas, instead of staying four nights, five nights in the same hotel with no housekeeping, get a couple of hotels. The price is the same. You're not getting it any cheaper by staying here uh, the entire time. Or if you have to, get a room with uh, two queen beds. So you can spend a couple nights in one bed, then move over to the other bed. 